I wanted to do a little bit of a throwback and look at some stuff from like immediately after COVID started. This is uh this is early August 2021, so a little while after. Just listen to some of the psychotic stuff these poor fools on the right were saying at the time. Pete Santilli on the left, he's a talk show host. On the right, Deanna Lorraine, she worked for InfoWars for a while. She ran for Congress. Check this out. The people now that are learning more about the adverse impact of getting vaccinated, they're having regrets about it. because Who is having... Do we regret it, fellas? It, do we regret getting vaccinated all these years later? My God, they lived in another universe. We're hearing about this shedding uh, that's yeah. going on. and the Vaccine shedding. The shedding. And, and also... Uh, it was all bullshit all along. Um, the, the, the activation of the graphene oxide is actually sitting there dormant. But if it gets energized by something like 5G, it actually kills all the cells around it. Dude, we've had 5G on our phones for like literal years and nobody died. Okay, there there is no gra graphene oxide in the vaccine. There was never graphene oxide in the vaccine. It's just completely fabricated out of the ether. And these people were coming out here and spreading this. This is wild. That is so crazy to me. You know, if it seems crazy to you in the moment, maybe you should rethink it. I mean, can you imagine if they just like activate and said, oh, all right, a million people are going to be gone, you know, just by right. energizing the graphene oxide. And that's the thing. People don't really know exactly what's in it. You know. Yes, we do. What are you talking about? Of course, we know exactly what's in the vaccine. We have to for allergy reasons. But to say that, like, we don't know what was in the vaccine is absolute delusion. We knew exactly what was in it. There were some methods of producing the vaccine that were kept a secret for company reasons but it was such an obvious route to produce the vaccine that it was reproduced with absolutely zero outside help by a second company moderna did it and we all knew that it was mrna which is a technology that existed for like ever for like decades and then pfizer comes in and does that exact same thing this was not a mystery to anybody except for you. What's in it? You know those people, Biden, even Trump, any of these representatives, you know they're not taking the real vaccine live on TV when they pretend that they do. You know that they're not. I do. Not that stupid. They're not doing that. Um, they're leaving us to do that. It is so incredibly, deeply, embarrassingly stupid. So this is August 2021. I don't know if you guys remember this one, but this is a TikTok that was floating around at the time. This it, the text says, "My dad trying to buy me off from getting the vaccine." I I don't want money though. Like I know you don't, but I don't know what else to do. And just want to point something out here. These are the people that say conspiracy theorists need to take off their tinfoil hats because all these conspiracies coming true. We, you know, conspiracy theorists 20, anti conspiracy theorists zero, or whatever other stupid thing they come up with. I mean, looking back at the conspiracy theories from five years ago is so ridiculous. It is so absurd and embarrassing for these people. And they still think that they were right all along. These Trump, these QAnon nutcases. You didn't do this to Michael and Kelsey, and they already got it. Don't you think I know that? Don't you think I know that? Why do you think I'm crazy? Your mother got it. Why do you think I'm crazy? My family is gone. My family is gone. By the end of this loose season, most of you will be dead. What the f do you expect me to be? Okay. Late May 2021. Years ago. Literal years ago and nobody dropped dead nobody died did this make them reevaluate their worldview though of course not they didn't reevaluate anything they're still over there sitting there thinking to themselves i know they're after me they're, they're i'm only alive today because i'm so cautious they're coming for me you know i have a brother who has effectively schizophrenia schizoaffective disorder. 
And in all seriousness, I hear things like this from him all the time. This type of psychosis coming from him. These people, it like, I don't understand how it was such a massive event that like a whole category of people like Trump supporters, like MAGA nutcases, all believed this at once. And I don't understand how it's not like clicking with them that, that this was nonsense all along. Maybe I should start playing these old clips again to try to like pierce that bubble and make them realize that they were full of it all along. I wonder what people like this dad who were like genuinely scared are thinking about the fact that their family is still alive. Like, do, does he think that they were just the lucky ones or that this was just a one-off thing? Because I know that he most likely still believes every MAGA conspiracy. If I had to guess, I would say he probably thinks that he was spared. He was one of the lucky few. One of the lucky families? Yeah, like one of the lucky families that got a dud batch that was fake or something. Instead of recognizing the fact that this did not happen. And you know, people didn't start dying suddenly back then, obviously. And their response, they being like the anti-vax industry, was to produce a film called Died Suddenly, where they just lied through the entire thing. They, they cited examples of people who died inexplicably, some of which were fake, like completely made up. Some of them had explanations, like they had MS or, or diabetes or whatever, and they died from that, and it was clear as day. I mean, they, these people are in a bubble that is nearly impossible to pierce. Here's another example of a dude from a church called Patriot Church, close friends with Greg Locke's church, Global Vision Bible Church. Leader is a guy named Ken Peters. This is not Ken Peters. This is a guest speaker. Check this out. Patriot Church is Sharam Hadian and in and, and my own ministry. I, so, so he can then deny he even knows me after this statement. I'm telling you. Oh, yeah, this is drama. Right now that this so-called vaccine, right? This is exactly, that's why we say this is preparing the mark of the beast. Because what's going to happen is they're preparing the way to alter your DNA. And it is ultimately an attack. All these jabs and all these vaccines are an attack on God. Late May 2021. Late May 2021, all the way back then. We're talking five years ago, almost. And these people are still not snapping back to reality, as Eminem would say. These people are still extreme nutcases. Ken Peters, not this guy, but the leader of this church, still a right-wing extremist. Even more extreme today. How do we get through to these people? I don't know. So therefore, do you want to attack God by, by, by being for it, or do you want to defend God and be against it? Taking a vaccine is attacking God. Now you go, well, Sharam, I know people have already taken it. I'm not saying dump on them. I'm not saying condemn them. I'm saying for you, if you've not made that choice yet, I'm telling you with every strongest being in my body, do not go against God's design. People and ideas like this are exactly why it's very, very important that you, when you see stuff like this, when you see people saying stuff like this, you call them out for being idiots. Yeah. Because that's how we ended up with someone like the guy from the last clip where they're genuinely terrified and crying because they're worried for their family. Because they hear stuff like this, no one points out how idiotic it is, and they believe it. 100%. And that was, like, really sad in that last yeah. clip, right? Like, like I can oh hear God. him crying. Yeah. He thought his wife and children were going to die. He had already, like, come to terms with the fact that he lost them. And he was trying to save one last person. That, like, is, that is really heartbreaking, man. And it's, it's the fault of these people right here, this guy and others. And it's like, I can come up with, an, a, like, an explanation for why the church once or wanted at the time to force people to go back to church despite the fact that like covid was still raging and it was still like really dangerous for people i guess i can come up with an explanation like 
their church attendance was down and they worry that this is going to lead to like a big exodus of the church or whatever. So they're mm -hmm. trying to lie to get people to come back to church. I get I, that. OK, I understand that. But why with the vaccine? Why? Why did they do this? Why did this happen? Anti-vax stuff was traditionally a left wing position like my sister used to be super anti-vax. I don't think she is anymore, but she's on the left. You know, those crunchy mommy groups or whatever you want to call them, those types of people, spiritualists and all that. That's not the case anymore. California was super lax on vaccine laws. You didn't have to get vaccinated for anything. And West Virginia is super strict. You must get vaccinated if you want to attend school until COVID. And it completely flipped. It's wild. I don't understand what like how this happened. I don't understand anti-vax ideas in general because like it just doesn't benefit anyone to not get vaccinated, but it does benefit people to get vaccinated. It's so all down to conspiracy theories, all down to conspiracies. It is not God's design for you to put something in your body. Oh, boy, don't tell him about ibuprofen. <laughs> Listen, it's not a, it's not God's design for you to put something in your body that begins to change the DNA, the structure that he has created you in. That's complete nonsense. That's just a flat out fictitious lie. Got Vaccines my, do not do that. They never did that. Got my COVID vaccine. Now I have blonde hair and brown eyes. Yeah. And now you're a dinosaur as well. I am. Yeah. And so therefore, you have to make sure that you stay true, because just like in the days of Noah, I believe what's happening is it's going to look like the days of Noah. What was happening in the days of Noah? You had the sons of God intermarrying with the daughters of man, and they were polluting the DNA of human, hu humanity. The Nephilim. And the Lord had promised that he was going to preserve, preserve, preserve a pure DNA line for the Messiah. So why is it that scripture ultimately says, do not take the mark of the beast? Oh my God, dude. Is he saying the Messiah has to come back to earth in a pure line of like, in a pure, uh, racially pure, like line of people? Is that what he's saying? Jesus needs to return in a racially pure whatever? Uh, it not for nothing, but can't God just like didn't God inject his DNA the first time around? Mm -hmm. Why do we need a racially pure like family for him to join? I don't understand what that's about. And also, uh, this this specific church they are actually like race realist extremists, friends of Greg Locke again. Cannot be saved. This is a this is my supposition is could be because you're no longer fully human oh my god dude it's insane and that's how evil what is going on is yeah. Amen. now if people out there watch this message go from i already took this thing i didn't know that's okay that's okay i'm not saying please hear me i'm not saying this is the mark and i'm not i mean i what how else could you possibly have communicated that it seems pretty dead to rights that that's what you're saying right yeah like what what is his point here if the point is don't take it because then you aren't pure and human anymore then didn't he literally say it was the mark of the beast yeah. a second ago like he just started talking about that <laughs> saying all of a sudden you can't be saved or lose your salvation so you pray you ask god for 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 protection you repent lord i didn't know forgive me i don't want to alter what you have created in me lord protect me that's just absurd. And these poor dumb fools, I've said, like, I don't like insulting people. I, a lot of this doesn't boil down to being dumb. A lot of it is just looking for some reason to believe these people or whatever. But these, these guys were susceptible to the most ridiculous scams. I don't know if you guys remember this, but there's this little device that had a, it was like this big. And it had a an off on on off switch and a little fan in it, and you put it in your front pocket there, and you turn it on, and it's supposed to protect you from vaccine shedding. It was literally just a fan with a motor. It was so stupid. And vaccine shedding wasn't even a problem with this vaccine. They completely twisted it out of proportion, misunderstood what that even means, and everything else. 
My God, dude, these guys that we're listening to are maybe the most scammed people throughout the 2020s. If I get the vaccine and it changes my DNA, because he said it alters DNA, remember? He said, pray to God and say, God, I don't, I don't want this to change what you've given me to blah, 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 and he'll fix it for you. So, first of all, God can change my DNA. And second, why wouldn't I just get all the vaccines and then just pray just in case? Because why not? And then I'm all good. I don't get COVID and I don't risk having the mark of the beast somehow. Well, it's a toss up whether COVID is real in these people's minds, too. You got to remember. So I guess it just goes church to church if these people even believed it was real. God, they're mm -hmm. just insane. Anyway. Tell me what you think about it in the comments. I am so deeply entertained by this, going back and looking, but I feel so bad for some of these people, like yeah. that one dude. That was, like, really sad. Yeah, tell me your thoughts.